Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Basham Al Shah Basham Karkadash. Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. And I do mean the hopeful elect. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video John the Apostle Saw the CBDC in Action. So, what I did was I put in C CBDC in the US. And you know what this is going to lead into. I'm not going to make this long. So this is what it says. It says a CBDC is a digital national currency. In the case of the U United States, a CBDC would be a digital form of the U.S. dollar. Now, most of my, I said this previously in another video, most of my bills are paid for you know, digitally, get a check, you know, whatever, put money in, in the, in the uh, kiosk in the bank, whatever bank that you have an account with, and you set up a, an account with the, uh, if you like cable, you know, cable TV, it comes automatically out of the, out of my account. So I just got to make sure the money's in there. Um, a smartphone, you know, a lot of people go to the, if you have Boost Mobile, you go to the Boost deal and you pay it there. So, so the way mine is paid is through, you know, it, it's taken out because I set up an account and they take it out. And they got my account number to take it out. And that's pretty much, I would say, 90, 95% of all my transactions are done that way. Outside of that, if you go shopping somewhere, you know, you buy gas. You know, uh, paying rent in, in some places, if you pay your mortgage or your rent, you have it set up with the company, so it take, it's taken out digitally. Now that's going to go with the, the U.S. government, with the IRS. They'll either give you money or take away money. And it's going to be easier because easier for them and really easier for us because you don't have to, all you got to do is make sure the money's in there. When you uh, drive highways, bridges, you used to pay toll, to stop, give the person the money. So now this, I'll say the tri-state area. I'll say pretty much the whole country, but the tri-state area, when I mean that, I mean, uh, you know, uh, New York, uh, Jersey, Connecticut, and then outside of that, like if you go, go up to Boston, to Mass, uh, uh, Rhode Island, um, uh, you go down to Delaware, go to the DM DMV, which is uh, Delaware, Maryland, uh, Virginia, which is, you know, DC's in that region right there. <clears throat> Philadelphia, you know, if you anywhere you go in that in that region right there, <clears throat> everything is. Uh, the money payment is totally phased out. So if you don't have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, easy pass device. You better not go through them toes because if you go through them toes, they will deduct the money. Well, they'll send you a bill because they take a picture of your license plates and send you a bill. But the way they got it set up <laughs> to force people to accept that digital form of payment Oh, if you go over this bridge, it's three dollars. Sometimes they don't even tell you what it is, and then they send you a bill, you know. But uh, but certain bridges, roads that you go through, they'll say, if you go over this bridge, it's three dollars with the Easy Pass. If you don't have an Easy Pass, you'll get sent a bill for eight dollars. So what is that going to make make you do? That's going that's going to make if you constantly if you're going to work and you're going over that particular bridge. Instead of paying eight dollars a day, that's ten days. That's eighty dollars. Uh, ten days with the Easy Pass is thirty dollars. Common sense says you can go with the Easy Pass. So they're going to do that with everything, and this is going to be a somewhat slow process of getting everything, di getting everything digital. This is why, um, and this is what John on the Isle of Patmos, John the Apostle saw it. This is what he saw. He didn't understand it. Like I said in the previous video, 
some to the effect that we know more than the prophets. And you got certain people got upset at that. We do know more than the prophets. Everything that the ancient prophets saw, I'm talking about the visions that they saw, because what did prophets see? Visions. They didn't understand them. No, no, their, their peers didn't understand them. The fellow Israelites didn't understand them. They looked at a lot of the prophets as being crazy. They didn't accept a prophet is not uh, honored in his own country or his own land. Because what the hell is this guy talking about? He's a bug out. So everything that the prophets are old and the apostles, which are also prophets, everything that they saw, they wrote down, but didn't have, didn't have a clue as to what, what this meant. Even when the angel explained it to them, it still went over their head. So we hear all the prophets coming back. You got guys writing books. I'm going to write a book on this. I'm going to write a book on that. The book's already written. All you got to do is break down the book, decode the book to the people. Shout on, on the rooftop, as they say. That's why, you know, at one time we got a lot of scoffs, scoffers coming against us. A lot, not too many scoffers on our pages now because they're beginning to see things that we said, oh, what them guys said, GMS or whatever, what they said 12 years ago, we laughed at, now it's coming to pass. And it's gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be a major shakeup with all these major camps that came out of One West or stem from other One West break off camps, split camps. The ones of you that are teaching contrary to the way the GMS is teaching it, it's gonna, you're going to have to do a lot of explaining and you have to do a lot of soul searching and, and thinking about how, how, how are you going to explain it to your people? Because the bottom line is this, the followers that come up under you, they don't know what's going on. They're like sheep. They're like sheep. They don't know what's going on. They're docile. Docile meaning ready to learn. If you give them, if you give them the truth, they'll take the truth. If you give them a lie, They'll take the lie because they don't know better because they're sheep. That's why the scriptures in Ezekiel 3, it speaks about uh, warning people. And if you, if you don't warn them, the blood is, they're going to die. And you're going to die because the blood is going to be on your hand. But if you warn them, they're going to die. And you're not going to die because the blood is off your hands. So this is why us here at GMS constantly teach them, go into them prophecies. So let me continue to read. And like I said, the timetable, they said that uh, July, which is a month, not even a month from now, about 25, 26 days from now, they're going to start with the, uh, the, uh, the CBDC. And it's already happening in 114 different countries around the world, which includes Africa, certain European countries. Nigeria, they pretty much, everything is digital now. Forget about the paper dollar. Everything, it's called the, the uh, I believe it's called the uh, Nairi, if I'm not mistaken, which is a, is, is a digital Nigerian dollar. So let me do some more reading. I'll make this short. Uh, a, a CD, a CBDC is a digital National national currency because it's dealing with national bank, and the, and guess who's going to be in charge of this? What bank? The cent, the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is not going to go away. It's just they're going to switch everything to digital. In the case of the United States, a CBDC would be a digital form of the U.S. dollar, like paper dollars. A CBDC would be a liability of the Federal Reserve. A liability of the Federal Reserve. These dollars are a liability. These are debt notes. So the, so the CBDC will also be debt notes. But unlike paper dollars, a CBDC would offer neither the privacy protections, the privacy protections, nor the finality that cash provides. This is what I, this this is what jumped up uh, jumped out at me. It says, this, a CBC a CBDC wouldn't offer neither the privacy protections nor the finality 
that cash provides. So this is a major liability because if you go through a red light, camera takes a picture, you're going through a red light, they send you a thing, and then they just take it out of your, you know, <laughs> just take it out. We got you, got a picture of you. So we just took out, you know, $100 or $50 from your account. You just got to, you got to eat it. And that's why you got cameras all over the place. It's not, and they say, oh, we got cameras where, you know, where schools are. They don't give a damn about the kids. They don't give a damn about that inside joke. Anyway, this is what I did. I went to the uh, drop-down menu. Which banks are using CBDC? Now, standard, stand, standard as a bank in the Americas, in New York, ING, Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank or Deutsche Bank, that's a German-based bank, but they have branches in the, in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the, the, banks, the banks will be con, uh, custodians of the CBDC accounts because the, the head bank will be the, F, the, uh, the Federal Reserve. They're just going to change the way they do business. And payment types include a P2P, I think that means person-to-person -person transfer. So if you're a mechanic, you work at a mechanic shop, you do a little side job on the weekend, you're going to have to do a trans, uh, electronic trans, transfer uh, through the person that you're doing. You change the guy's brake, you might charge him $100. So out of his account goes $100 and goes to your account, and it's on record with with the um, with the Federal Reserve, so you can't do side jobs no no more. Everything's and then why they do that? Because at the end of the year, you did a two hundred side jobs, which which add up to uh, five thousand dollars, and your tax your taxes is uh, twenty five percent of that, but you have deductions, so fifteen percent goes to the government. Okay, so this is good for the government and not for you. E-commerce, uh, purchases, anything you buy, they know. Purchases and in-store transactions, which are more in line with the consumer-oriented retail CBD, CBDC. Uh, you got credit cards now. And then eventually it will come down to where, well, credit cards are going to be obsolete and everything's going to be an app on your smartphone and then people lose their smartphone people steal people other people's smartphone so eventually what they'll do is everything will go into your body which is biometrics you're going to find out that great millstone was always right so you other camps that's teaching contrary you got a lot of explaining to do to your people unless they're just so you know out of it they just Whatever you say, whatever you say. Let me read this here. Central banks, let me get ready to close. Central bank CBDC backed by a government and uh, controlled by a central bank. So that central bank will be uh, the Federal Reserve System, which is known as a bank of issues. Look that up. Will give households, uh, consumers, and businesses a secure means of exchanging digital currency because just like uh, I make payments and it comes out of uh, my account, if somebody says, oh, we never got the payment, well, it's on record with my bank. So I said, well, let me go to the bank. I said, it's right here. It was a, there was an uh, e-exchange from my account to your account. So then they, got, they can't, you know, they can't say they never got the check. A CBDC also provides a <clears throat> country's central bank, which is the Federal Reserve System, with the means to implement monetary policies to ensure stability, control growth, and influence inflation. 
influence inflation. What does that mean? Oh, we, we, don't have to, uh, we don't have to experience inflation no more because the CBDC is here. No, you still will experience uh, inflation with the CBDC because I just read it. It said monetary policies to ensure stability, con uh, control growth, and influence inflation. You have a thing called inflation and deflation. So prices will go up. There was one more to that. Let me see some. There was something else that I was, uh, let me see. Did I pass it? Okay, I think I read this. If I didn't, I'll read it again. Uh, damn, where the hell is it? Okay, this is what I wanted. Does the US have a CBDC? It's already in the works. The laws are already passed. The Federal Reserve has made no decision on issuing a central bank digital currency CBDC and would only proceed with the assurance of a CBDC with an authorizing law. So the Federal Reserve <clears throat> has to wait until President Congress gets together. And they, it's a bill, then it becomes a law. They agree, the majority agrees, it becomes a law. Okay, so now, the Federal Reserve can step in. And then, like I said, there's going to be a point. You're going to, it's going to be like Nigeria. <laughs> it's going to be just like Nigeria. They're going to cut them, them. They're going to give you a certain time limit to take your paper notes and turn it in and turn it into digital notes. So you got money up under your bed. If you don't ch change that in, that money's going to turn into wallpaper. So let me leave you with this. Uh, let me see here. All right, let me... All right, let me co come here. Now, I'm going to show you what John saw, that which he didn't understand. We understand it clearly. And there's, brought, there's men out there in Israel that don't even understand it don't, or don't accept it. This is, uh, give me a second. So that's the best. Do you want to find out what's the next big major prophecy? It's uh, this thing that we've been, we had GMS been talking about. So, so this right here is uh, wallet, wallet more, wallet more payment implant installation medical clinic they got their own clinic wallet more has their own clinic why do they have their own clinic this is what john saw he's explaining what he's going to do to the guy you see that you know you're in an operation operating room Guy lays down, he's confident. That's the thing. That's the that's the karakma. That's that's the karax. This is the karax. The karakma, and this is the karax. The root of karakma is karax. So John is seeing this <clears throat> and he can't make heads or tail of it. <clears throat> See this? See? See? Yeah. That's the Karax. That's not this is not the Karagma. What's going in inside of him is the Karagma. The delivery system is the Karax or syringe. So John is looking at this, writing it down, like, what, what's this all about? Then he sees people making purchases. Mm -hmm. 
That's a Karatma. It looks different than the others. There's going to be different companies that make them different ways. But it has your information in there. Medical. You know, like you put apps in your in your smartphone. You, you're going to you be able to put it in, in this right here. There it is. There it is. You sewing them back up. And I believe they're based in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. There it is. And that's the left hand, so this got to be Europe. And America is going to be on the right hand for the most part. He's got the bandaid on, he's healing, and it's in there. And you just can't pull it out. You, you can't press the palm of your hand and the thing pops out. It's in there. Surgically put it in there. This is a surgical procedure. Let me come back over here. He's explaining it to him. This, that's surgical procedure. Whole world's gonna be tested. And he's happy about it. Yeah, I got it. There it is. It's going to close up and become a part of him, a part of his his body, which is a uh, biometrics. So you have several different and and, it, and you know what? If you was an Edomite, a demon, you would invest in these things because there's going to be a lot of money made for people that invest in this. But we're not to invest in this. We're investing into. Uh, Again, going against the prophecies. Uh, so anyway, I'm sorry, let me do this here. Uh, what is this all about? If I get a chance, I'll watch this. You see this picture right here with the dude with the very long hair. Look like dreads. Uh, anyway, um, and you see these these videos, right? The, the, you know how the al algorithm works. See all these videos right here. More videos related to this one here. So it's going to happen like the most I gave to uh, John, which GMS and Sakari. I'll put in Sakari. They're pretty much. They're the only two camps that really go into it. GMS more so, and that's a fact. So there's going to be a major breakup. Anyway, with that, a shakeup. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.